We've likely all felt the pressure on our monthly budgets as the cost of pretty much everything has gone up. Yeah, and tonight's Unaffordable Utah, Lad Egan shares some hacks to help you take control of your family finances. For this busy mom of four... Do you want some peaches? Higher prices almost everywhere... Eating out is just so expensive. ...means finding ways to save. For me, it's like, okay, I have to get intentional. Like, Chantel Cleverly says living in a small town away from stores has forced her to focus on every detail. It's just little things that add up. And it feels like an ongoing battle. Personal finance professor Amanda Christensen says the Cleverly family has the right approach to outsmart higher prices instead of taking on more debt. The increase in credit card applications went through the roof in 2022. With more rate hikes expected, every dollar you put on that card will get more expensive. Best advice I could give anybody right now is to focus on paying down high interest debt. Christensen says it's time to put some budget hacks to good use. Rather than the spend, spend, spend mentality brought on by the pandemic. Start by reconnecting with those old fashioned dollar bills. Take cash and remember what it feels like to hand over the physical dollars. It's a simple tactic with a big impact to watch where our money is going. It just sort of creates a mindset that I don't, I think we've lost a little bit with credit card swiping. As an accredited financial counselor, she says the next step is to look for all those recurring charges, which will probably surprise you. Somewhere along the line, I have given people permission to pull money right from my checking account. Then reevaluate those monthly subscriptions for TV streaming, clothes, cosmetics, and food. What's the total that's going out in monthly subscriptions every month? And is that serving your family's best interest? Don't stop there. Examine your entire budget. But where am I spending the most? Pick a category and say, can I step it down in one area? You don't have to eliminate your favorite things. Just step down the frequency or cost. Think movie matinees with fewer expensive snacks or preparing coffee or soda at home instead of buying it at the drive-thru. Bottom line, budget-wise, we can't control costs, but we can control two things. Increasing income and decreasing expenses. With wages going up, a side gig could really pay off. So can following the budget-shifting tactics the Cleverly family is using. Because I was spending a ton of money in gas, so just by carpooling, I've halved that. She's also combining trips and only driving when necessary, which requires planning ahead. Meal planning and grocery pickup have been my two... <laughs> magic things. Online grocery shopping helps her stick to a budget by adjusting the cart before checkout without interference from the kids. Mom, can I get this? Mom, can I get, you know, and they're putting stuff in the cart and then it's like, well, there goes my grocery budget. With the price of meat skyrocketing, she makes sure nothing goes to waste. Like, for example, if I do like a roast or a ham or something on Sunday, I can use those leftovers and incorporate those into other meals to like stretch out my meals farther. With dairy and baked goods still driving inflation. Lots of things that you can start making instead of buying at the store. Cleverly is now baking muffins and bread at home and cutting back on convenience foods. And cooking from scratch has like been a lifesaver. Stock up during case lot sales and look for ways to make your family's favorites less expensive like bottled peaches instead of store-bought fruit cups. Do it for free or super cheap. That gives room in your budget for other things. We're paying more for services like deliveries, pet care, dry cleaning, and haircuts. Do it yourself instead of paying someone like cutting your children's hair at home. Time to sort of hunker down. Finally, once you've hacked your budget, Christensen says the right mindset will keep you on track. I often tell people to adopt a money mantra. Okay. So mine is, I have what I need, what I have is enough. Some great advice there. And don't forget, it's that time of year when many are expecting a tax refund. You can put that money to good use by paying down debt or establishing an emergency fund.